So this is the final look of after working uh, one hour in a rig and everything and in this video I will teach you how you can set up an internet model which is riggable for Unreal Engine. The first thing, once you extract the model file and you find your FBX, drag and drop into your blender. Now just click on import and you file something like sometime the model can be very smaller or it can be some very large. So just choose those model like whatever mesh you find with this and now you can you can basically use a unreal engine for manicure which is basically give you understand of the scale how much you are required to make the accurate size so let's you can go to any access view that you are can you are comfortable actually then just scale it like how much you like to give it so in my case something might be this and i can maybe adjust something a little bit and it will be perfect like so okay so in my case, this is a good one. Let me then you can delete your original UV4 mesh. Now here you will find one thing like this kind of like a dot dot. Most of model doesn't have this thing, but some of model might be have like that. So this is called basically parenting. So it's mean that if you choose this thing, you will be see like it's basically attaching with something. So to make it deattach everything and make the model totally clean, you have to choose all with the a right mouse then here you find parents and here give clear and keep and transform now you'll be see the dot has been gone and those wheels are become separated or whatever it is connected with it now the first thing what you have uh, like only we have a model just choose those thing without the wheel press a uh, ctr plus j to join just choose any part to join and grab here you go we have the model which is basically it now sometimes you find some those kind of like extra stuff that it's not basically come with it so you have to choose it again something like so and make sure you choose the parts and join it again with the main mesh and here you go we have this thing that's cool now here you can see we have some extra part like this thing okay so it's a uh, inside accessory if you want you can basically join them if you want you can delete it so in my case I'm just deleting it so it does uh, it doesn't waste my time more and just grab the model again in the position that you are looking for okay perfect here we go now here you can see some extra vertices kind of like angular so you can delete them because we do we doesn't require those stuff okay now about the wheel so just choose all of this wheel that you have so you can grab the model again to top choose the wheel that you have just now rig them okay i'm not it's not about rig sorry just join them and it will be fine something like a complete mesh make sure it's a very high poly mesh so in my case it's uh around overall a 400 million so which is quite enough so let me just keep it in a side uh, oh it's a, sorry it's a not 400 uh it's a 4 million and 50 thousand more than wow that's cool and okay now we'll be we do the same thing and m m make sure that whatever parts you choose make sure if anything is left or not double check those things so it might be basically become a problematic so just make sure that you have the clean uh, simple stuff okay cool now let me also do the same thing for this one just grab the model as much possible in every way okay and just join it in a single piece and voila and just move it, the wheel a little bit so you can understand that okay are you turn selecting or if you miss any part or not so we'll be doing the same process for the left wheel as well or it's a basically the font wheel okay uh, oh sorry i forget to select join and here you go we have this thing lastly about this one let's choose for every angle choose a piece join okay now we have this thing okay now once we have this thing uh some of you find this kind of like a problem your vehicle is quite in a good location but your wheel you'll be see it's a little bit weird like in a position so you can choose it oriented geometry middle so you find something like this it will be become now more perfect you can do the same process for every or single wheel or you have another choice you can do it manually so i like with the auto one which is quite enough good so i will use this one okay about this thing model you can choose make sure the height is okay and now let's understand like if i give show, show you the render versions it's probably look like this okay now in unreal engine you have to understand the unreal engine phase is x mode okay so we have to basically rotate this vehicle in this direction so but if you see that still there's a tons of part like the la 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 okay like you can see it still have lots of 
parts that we are not looking so you can just select and delete it what you think like it's not actually the part okay and this is the wheel this is the wheel this is the wheel this is the wheel and i don't know which part is so i'm just relating choose it now let's rename it w f l which is front wheel and this is the w f r and this is w r l and lastly this one is w r r okay and this is body so we'll be give it name that body okay cool now you can just set the location to zero something like this grab the uh, axis and just make it some bigger upper and here we go we have the model that we are looking for now you'll be see like something like this odd type scene like you can see like this mesh has been something like left or right something like so we'll be fix it first let's fix the position go to the z axis and here go to this mode then rotate enable and make sure that your grid is enable now go to in a rotated mode so it will be basically snap into grid something like this now make sure that your alignment is perfect so as you can see my alignment is something looking weird so i have to fix it okay so first now fix in this way like as much as possible you can so just here disable this thing and now grab your model in a middle possible as much as middle possible so let me just grab it okay now transform it in a middle okay cool now here you'll be see something like this the wheels actually the most problematic one so you can choose a particular wheel that you want to follow you can just grab it like you want then let's choose this one as well and i hope this is look great and i will follow this one okay quite enough now you can see your vehicle looking much better right now make sure you check the again the inner x-axis the all your wheel are in a perfect shape now make sure in unreal engine never make this uh the pivot point in uh, flying we have to make it something like this on ground touchable okay so keep in mind that your body should be touch your ground as much as possible or you'll be see something like the flying your vehicle is flying so keep it mind uh so you can give it here or you can use to geometry orientation oh sorry the uh orientation and geometry oh man oriented on a geometry so it will be give you something like middle point but i never like it so always use like this transform okay okay cool now we have everything at here if you go to render mode you'll find everything your vehicle is ready now you can use a plugin called uv vehicle rigging plugin which is give you basically make your wheel very fast way to rig so we'll be choose the base fr rr and fl and rl okay cool now because we have another scale we will be first give it to up to a scale object that's set in a unit scale so you'll be see probably like this thing click on rig the vehicle and you'll be see a perfect complete looking leak okay now you'll be see that it's quite great okay now you are done it here so just you can save the file for your future use so in my case i'm going to keep it the file in my unreal engine folder let's give it that name with a model okay so if any in the future we need it we can reuse it okay save it okay now what i'm going to do at here because it's done at here now let's choose all of this now we have to understand how you can export the model okay you can file export fbx and music okay you can go in a music folder or whatever folder you like let's give it name that a car something like this and here in a preset you can go with my this uh, rigging preset which is selected object make sure armature mesh and others are activate then in a transfer z is forward and the forward is minus z and up is y up and if you want you can literally apply the transform player but i never use this thing so just keep it make sure the smoothing in a face and the armature the add the leaf bone the animation okay one more thing make sure whenever you have a model always try to check the body part like ch uh, choose the body face something like this and go here in an option and here you find the face orientation so you can check that if this is enough good to see the orientation 
if you see the red dots which is kind of like you can see some of point that if you go in a under view will be see like this so those are not in issue in interior wise but in exterior wise if you face something like this the red lines which means that it's going to be basically very problem so make sure that it's there's or nothing so orientation like whenever you have the clearance just export the mesh now i might be didn't select the body so let me choose it again and file and export in fbx and here we go we have the our mesh now let's understand how you can set up in our Unreal Engine. So I will show you in the next video. But right now, let me just show you the exported model. Like, so this is the final look of after working uh, one hour in a rig and everything. And as I promised to you that I will show you that in how you can rig a full vehicle mesh with a wheel and also a separate modular base, which I call typically some smart YouTuber showing tricks that a single mesh but it's have rig but the wheel are separated which is basically help them to make it more like the tire destroying system and etc so that's all in this video and i will show you in the next video bye bye